Yep, we got some nice frags of neon green GSP growing, except for these last two. I have not seen a single hint of green on these for about two weeks, so we're going to dip them in an iodine dip and see if it helps, so stay tuned. Alright, so here it is. It's the Tropic Marin Pro Coral Cure. Now, I got this recommended to me about three years ago from a guy who was working at my LFS, who actually now works down at Worldwide Corals. Brent, if you're watching, what's up, buddy? Um, so this is the Tropic Marin Pro Coral Cure. Now, when I was originally dipping for coral, I was using the Revive, and I told him, I said, you know what, I have a couple frags that just aren't looking well. And he said, try this. It's kind of like a refresher. If there's anything that's irritating the coral, whether it be flatworms or any, anything like that, or if something's been damaged or if you've cut it, this has the iodine preparation in it, which is very good for healing corals. So the directions are on the bottle itself. It is a little pump bottle. And if you do spill this anywhere, it does kind of make a, a bit of a mess. You can see it stains pretty badly, but um, it does it does have a heavy iodine smell to it, and it does work. So I have these GSP frags in here. I know some people are like, ah, it's just GSP, but it's a living part of my tank, and I need it to be healed. These are the ones that have been shut down for about two weeks. I'm not giving up on them, so I'm going to dip them in here 10 to 15 minutes give them a good rinse in some tank water and then put them back in the tank and see how they are. We'll check back in a few days and if they're not opened up I would say within five days then I'm gonna have to say that these guys are dead because like I said it's been about two weeks since I have seen a single bit of neon green on these guys so we'll come back in five days and see how it looks. Alright so two days later and boom they're back alive. Yeah, I know some coral go dormant or close down for a while, but like I said before, over two weeks, this thing was completely closed. Nothing on it whatsoever, not even the hint of green. And two days later, I come downstairs to feed the fish, and voila, it's a brand new frag again. So, I've had really, really good luck with the Pro Coral Cure. I highly recommend it, again, if you're going to be cutting zoanthids or fragging anything. And, you know, they say iodine is really good for healing coral. If you're worried about, you know, the correct how much iodine per water solution and this and that, I would definitely get this dip because it's already at the correct dose. And as long as you go by the milliliters per cups, you can't go wrong in my eyes. So, you guys see it. They're all doing well, especially these two, and these are those really, really ultra greens. You can see the difference in the two greens. Yep, this one's that super neon. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Check out that Pro Coral Cure Dip. Give it a shot. Like I said, if you have a frag that's not doing so hot, and you're like, ah, and you can get it off the rock, or if you have it on a frag plug, give it a dip in that stuff. What's, what's the worst that can happen? If it's dying, it's dying. But if you can prevent some type of sickness or illness that it's going through by hitting it with that iodine solution, then you'll be good to go. So, And if you do use this dip, let me know. Write it down in the comments. Say, hey, I've tried it and it works awesome. Or, hey, I've tried it and it didn't do anything. So that's it for now, guys. Hope this video was helpful. Talk to you on the next one.